In the past three months, I have been buying succulents like crazy. Few of you have asked me, what do I do with all the succulents that I bought? And these are some of what I've done to my succulents. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. Most of them are in, I would call this, propagating mode. So this one, the silhouette here, I put it in a bowl where there's three plants in it. But this is mainly for propagation and also for beautification so that it looks nice when I go around and look at my garden. So this is Jupiter. I've actually shown, I think I did, how I potted this up, or maybe not, <laughs> but here it is now. But a lot of them that I bought, I planted in this black tub that I got from Ikea. So that way they can grow faster than putting them in a pretty pot. So these ones as well, so all different succulents. This I got a yellow shark. That was half the size when I got it. Now it has grown so fast in a matter of three weeks and it has doubled its size. And a lot more in the bottom here are the same story that I mainly grow them now for propagation. So that one is one of my favorites, the Silithol. I love the color. Now these ones as well are part of my plant hole that I potted up. So that one now, I put it in here where it's sort of covered up. That way it can acclimatize. I can't put it directly out in the sun because they're going to burn. This arrangement is one of my plant hole that I put together in the last three months. So different plants from different sellers and put in this blue pot complements the redness of most of these plants. So this is Echeveria Joan Daniel, Sedum Forfaraceum in the center with that holy rock concretion and variegated mini bell, silk variegated that is. And on the pink side is Echeveria Robin, all on its own. And the one on the right are a cluster of Longissima hybrid. Beautiful arrangement. Now also in the center, one of the, <laughs> this one just fell off from the top. I think the birds has been attacking my plant. So this one came from up the top here where the birds have been attacking it. So I think the bird said this needed something else. So I'm gonna put this here and maybe put one there, but I need to put some soil in that one still, some more. But this one's gonna overhang anyway. This looks like marshmallow. So most of my arrangements are not set in stone. So it depends how I feel. It's like this one. This one's dictated by the birds saying, you need a couple more here. That's bent, so I'll break that off. Stick that in there. I'll grab, I got a very pointy tweezer, so it's dangerous. So what I do is grab the end of the stem and then that way slowly just guide it through there and she's fine she can grow over on the other side and if she gets too long I can chop her off again so we'll put some more this one's already got roots aerial roots saying I need some loving so let's go put you some more here I think this one would do better on this empty spot There you go. It just sort of gives it that little bit of something that's missing. But anyway, I might add a couple more here just to set the scene and saying, oh, it's a meadow of beautiful marshmallow field. Ooh, red marshmallows, but you got pink marshmallows. Okay, that's enough for now because we need to see something else. But I will put a few more. There you go. That is now. So is that better? I think that looks much better good. Beautiful. 
And also, as the plant grows, I will be taking cuttings, say for example for the side room, and there's still enough space to put here, so I don't really want to crowd them up too much, especially this one now. This John Daniels is flowering. I want to chop that off. I'm going to enjoy the flowers first when it blooms, and also the leaves can be propagated. So this one, I'll just take that off after it finishes flowering, and put the leaves around it so I can grow naturally. The next arrangement I call Fairy Baby with Butterfly. Normally this butterfly spins around and hang on I'll just see if it has charge. It's trying to so normally it goes shakes and spins around but I think it still needs a bit more charging but for the meantime let's go see what plants I've got here. This arrangement is done with Echeveria Gavodis King Arthur, Echeveria, I forgot the name, and <laughs> Echeveria New Irish Mint. This one is emerald green variegated. That one is Fun Queen. I think the one in the back is also Fun Queen. But anywho, this one is a freebie with no name but it's just gorgeous now this one again I've got the emerald green repeated and also the green Irish mint so I have three of them planted in this pot so this Irish mint here as well I can see it's sort of starting to form some slight variegation but maybe monstrousness and the one in the center is a cotyledon jade fan which will turn into a beautiful purple hue so this is nice arrangement with the little baby cutie and just for companionship I put this matrix of garnet on granite our next featured plant is sedum corini filum in the center towering over the Semper Vivum Golden Nugget. And we have a little spider that came to say hello but has gone hiding now. So this is just a two plant arrangement but the color just complements each other really really well. I might yet put some extra plants on the edges of the Semper Vivum maybe another Semper Vivum or something else but for now I'm just happy to have them all in this arrangement to the delight of my sight every morning when I have my coffee out in the garden and here is a Chavria on slow that I chased or was after for a while and finally I put the three in one pot in this Ceramic pot. It's not as actually a ceramic pot. It's actually a casserole pot. Used to be. Now recycled into a beautiful vessel to hold this beautiful Echeveria on slow. This is Haworthia Quarktata with Macadamia Centris and Echeveria Red Hole. This Echeveria Red Hole all came from different sellers. Therefore, they all look different from each other. And one of them looks like it's actually variegating. So a couple of lines in there that might have a chance of variegating. Echeveria ciliata, just beautiful green hairy, but you can see from the back that one day it will eventually grow red. Beautiful plant. Love it. More examples of mixed planting. And more mixed planting propagating. These ones are cuttings. Echeveria alata that I already harvested some leaves to propagate so once it warms up hopefully they will start germinating Living 
life every day let it die not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days me i'm looking in the mirror so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just get by in everything see you in the next life have to be a better me i don't think that my head's on straight gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray what's wrong with me i just feel way pushing on my chest and it squeeze till i suffocate better change my mindset meditate it's pretty cool that i'm alive and have better days i could walk see here i should celebrate think i could change my mind maybe elevate living life every day late at night not okay all i want and i pray all i need are some better days yeah all i need are some better days cause all i want Stuck between a rock and a hard place Do I work hard or live at my pace? You're only young once, yeah that's all great But I also want a future where I'm okay Living life is doing lots of, wait no It's living with no shame, wait no It's sleeping in on Sundays, I guess it's different for each of us And that's okay, well I just wanna be happy How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me I think it's different for everyone Some of us need work, others need fun Some of us need purpose to overcome But try to do what you love when it's said and done Cause there's so many differences in each of us Trust your gut, it can show you what you want Living life, every day, late at night Not okay, all I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah, all I need, are some better days Cause all I want, and I pray, I believe I have a few more in here that needs repotting but Rome wasn't built in a day, so I gotta take my time and clean up my garden so I can make space to plant them all in. I believe in a better day.